Hi, it's Paris from Epic Reviews, and I have a couple suggestions for you about what I think are the two best places to store your digital life. Now, if you've ever seen on the evening news when there's some natural disaster occurring and the news people are up there filming in the town where everyone's having to evacuate, you see the people, they've got two minutes, five minutes to load what they can in their car and get away to safety. They always have that box of photos, and you probably have that too. For a lot of people, their older photos are still printed out on paper, and they probably have them in a box somewhere. But for the last 10 years, how many photos have you actually printed out? Probably most of your photos are in digital form. You probably have hours of video, and those memories are just as priceless as those old paper photos. But is there one place in your house where you can go and grab something and take it in the car and know that you've got a backup copy of all those priceless memories? I'm guessing you don't. I'm guessing that you've got photos on a point-and-shoot camera somewhere. You've got photos and videos on your phone. You've probably got some of the things you've already transferred to the computer, but they're only on the computer. You probably have an iPad or a tablet and you recorded something at some ceremony that you only have on that. So you have your files spread across all these different devices. So there's no set it and forget it type solution like a backup program that you can run on the computer that's going to capture all of the different files that you have on your different devices. So you do have to go to the trouble of aggregating them all probably onto a computer. Now that you've got that on the computer, if you just leave it on the computer, you're basically, you're always one click away on a website that happens to be infected from actually losing everything on your computer. So that's not safe and secure. You do need to back it up and put it somewhere else, have another copy of those things, and preferably something easy to grab and take with you in the event there is some emergency. So I have two suggestions for you for that. Uh, these are the easiest things to use, and I found if it's easy to use, people use it. If it gets it all complicated, people tend to put it off and they never do make the backup. So, two very simple things. One is the flash drive. Now, you probably own several of these. You probably, you know, got several of these down in the cushions of your sofa. They are easy to lose, and that is sort of the downside of them. But what worries me more with them is that it's so easy to delete the files that are on here so that you could you know, carefully put everything onto your flash drive, but it's easy to lose them. So there is a type of flash drive that has a unique thing on it. Let me show you. It's actually a right lock switch, which when you flip it, it makes it so you cannot erase or delete or change anything on the flash drive. This little switch here on the side, you slide it one way, you can put files on it. When you've got your files on it, you slide it the other way and it's locked. Now this may be familiar to you from the days of floppy disk. If you're older than 30, you may remember floppy disk. On the back of the disk, there was a little place where you could slide the little piece of plastic up and down and that would lock it so that you couldn't write anything else onto it. So if you put something very important on the disk, you slid that, you knew that this could not be erased. Now at time it may have demagnetized, and that's another issue, but still there was no way anyone could write any other files onto your files or delete the files that were there. So this particular type of flash drive has that feature built into it. It's very unique. You almost never see this with the, the right protect switch, but it's a good idea because when you've gone to the trouble to collect all your files on the computer, you plug this in, you copy everything onto this, what you basically want to do is be able to put this in a drawer somewhere and just leave it for five years, ten years, and should the day come when you need to grab it and get out of the house, it's very easy to find and it's easy to take with you. And the fact that it has been locked means in the meantime the kids haven't needed a flash drive to turn in some report at school and so they took yours and they deleted over your files to stick their homework on it. Now the flash drives, to, as an initial investment to get started with backing your stuff up, these are the least expensive way to go. You can get them starting at around $20, $25, and then they're more expensive as you increase the capacity. If you don't have a lot of things to back up, if a lot of it is documents and some photos, maybe a little bit of music, but you, you really have never done much in the way of um, digital video recording, this may work for you. But if you, number one, have kids under 20, and number two, own a digital camcorder, I bet this isn't going to work for you because this just isn't going to have enough capacity. The videos, especially high definition videos, they just eat up the gigabytes like you would not believe. And for the cost of one of these locking flash drives, it has a capacity of about 32 gigabytes. You can buy for the same money a thousand gigabytes of storage in one of these. This is an external hard drive. 
doesn't have quite the reliability of a flash drive. Flash drive has no moving parts. This does have moving parts, and whenever you have moving parts, there's a chance things will break or get out of specification and not work anymore. But in terms of an affordable place that you can store a large amount of data, probably this is going to be your only solution. And so if you're like me, and you've got hundreds of gigabytes of data, of movie of the kids from the time they were born on up, then probably this is what you'll need to store all those video files. This Hitachi Toro drive really couldn't be easier to use. It's just got the one plug and it's USB 3. This is a one terabyte drive. I've read that the larger capacity drives, because you can get them two terabyte, four terabyte, they tend to have a higher failure rate. So one terabyte seems to be about the largest you can go where they don't run into that problem with them not being as reliable. And of course, reliability is very important because this is where you're going to back up all your stuff. Now, this one terabyte drive goes for about $80. And if you get the, the type of flash drive, this uh, Kangaroo drive that has the right lock, a 32 gigabyte uh, capacity flash drive like this is about $70. So you can see for just a little bit more money, you do get all the extra capacity with this. And if you're big into video, you're probably going to need that capacity. But if that's not you, and the idea of being able to lock your flash drive, to lock in those files really appeals to you, you can even buy the older, like this blue older generation, one of these for starting around $20. I'll put the link to both of these down below. You can check them out online if you're not sure which these models are. But the important thing is to start back something up. Think about what's the, the thing you would both most be in tears about if you lost it. Maybe photos of the kids when they were just born and when they were little. Well, at least back those up. Go out, spend 20 bucks, buy a flash drive, plug it in, copy the folders onto here, lock it and stick it in the drawer. The saddest calls I ever went on, I worked many years as a computer technician, is when there was a computer virus or a hard drive failure and um, you had to tell the people, well, this isn't looking good. Do you have a backup? And they would say, no, but I have a flash drive. And they'd you know, pull it out of the drawer. It's still in the package. They bought it intending to do the backup, but they never got around to opening it up and backing their files up to it. And so sometimes I just had to break the news to them. I can't recover this data. I'm sorry. It's gone. So don't make some poor computer technician have to go through giving you that news. Back up at least your most important stuff. Lock it up. Put it in the drawer. It's one less thing you have to worry about.